안녕하세요. As you know, this is the most common Korean greeting, like the English hello. And also there is 안녕 for informal casual speech. This means that we wish for comfort and safe like greetings from many countries around the world. But the history of 안녕하세요 is not that old. So, can you guess what expression was used before 안녕하세요? It was 밥 먹었어요? 밥 먹었어요? Did you eat? And we still use it as well as 안녕하세요? Then, if someone asks you, did you eat? Does he use the expression in a greeting or a literal sense? The answer is maybe or may not be. For example, after lunch, the manager greets the staff of another department. 밥 먹었어요? Or 식사했어요? Did you eat? And the staff answers, 네, 먹었습니다. Of course, you can answer no if you haven't eaten. But generally, we just answer yes. Because in this case, it's just a greeting. It means this expression is usually used at work or in town. Depending on the age of the listener and the relationship with them, there are various levels of expression, such as 밥 먹었어? 밥 먹었어요? 식사했어요? 식사하셨어요? 진지 드셨어요? And 진지 잡수셨어요? Wow, amazing! The postman greets the old man. 식사하셨어요? And a TV show host greets the villagers. 식사하셨어요? Of course, you can also ask specifically about 아침, breakfast. 점심, lunch, and 저녁, dinner. 아침, 점심, 저녁. For example, 교수님, 점심 드셨어요? Professor, did you have lunch? 드셨어요 is more polite expression than 먹었어요. And professor answers, 네, 먹었어요. Yes, I did. Even professors should use respectable language to the public, and also people can't use honorific expressions for themselves. So, 네 먹었어요 is a correct response. 네 드셨어요 is wrong. There is a more interesting context to this expression. When a friend asks you, 밥 먹었어? Have you eaten? It can simply be a greeting, 안녕, hi, or it may have the meaning of 밥 같이 먹을래? 밥 같이 먹을래? Let's get something to eat. Or 나 너한테 관심 있어. 나 너한테 관심 있어. I'm interested in you. I want to get to know you. And if you just say, mm, yeah. You probably don't have much interest in him or her. If you say, 응, 너는? Yeah, I ate, you? It would be an expression of some interest. And, 응, 김밥 먹었어, 너는? Yeah, I ate 김밥, what about you? Would be an expression of very interest. However, in everyday conversations with the very close people, it's much more likely that people ask because they want to know whether you actually ate or not. For example, when a friend asks you, 밥 먹었어? Have you eaten? You should tell your situation as it is. 응, mm, 먹었어? Yeah, I ate. Or, 아니, 나 배고파, 같이 먹자. 아니, 나 배고파, 같이 먹자. No, I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. Or, 아니, 아직 못 먹었어. 좀 이따가 먹을 거야. 아니, 아직 못 먹었어. 좀 이따가 먹을 거야. No, I haven't eaten yet. I will eat a little later. Let me tell you more interesting greetings related to eating. If you are a non-Korean native speaker, 
this expression will confuse you. For example, when you meet a friend on the street and you haven't seen him in a long time, and he says, 나중에 밥 한번 먹자. 나중에 밥 한번 먹자. Let's get something some other time. Then you will answer like this. 응, 좋아. Or, 그래, 좋지. Yeah, sounds good. But if you answer when, that's most likely an out of context response. But still, I think it's good to keep the possibilities open. Because Koreans like to buy meals if they can afford it. So after eating at a restaurant, they even quarter over the cost of food, claiming that they will pay for it. I have a question here. Why did the people say, did you eat or have you eaten as a greeting? Is it simply because people were poor? But we still use the expression in the 21st century. Then maybe there is something else in the depth of this expression. Because there are so many interesting expressions for eating and cooked rice in Korean. First, 먹다, eating. 밥 먹다, 술 먹다, or 술 마시다, 약 먹다. Eating food, beverage, and medicine is easy to understand, although people say take medicine in English. But don't be surprised, Koreans can eat almost anything. 골 먹다, means to miss a goal. 백점 먹다 means to get a hundred percent. We eat goals in football and percent in exams. 겁 먹다 means be scared. 욕 먹다 means be inserted. 마음 먹다 means make one's mind. When we are scared, we eat fear. When we fight, we eat curse, and when we make a decision, we eat heart. And I think the best expression is 나이 먹다. It means to get old. 나이 is age, so Koreans even eat time. Amazing. Eating also has metaphorical expressions. For example, 돈 먹다 means to eat money. So, 그 사람 돈 먹었어? 그 사람 돈 먹었어? What does it mean? Yes, it means he took the money and he is corrupt. 물 먹다 means simply to drink water. But when used without space, 물 먹다 means to fail to do something or to be deceived. Second, 밥, cooked rice. Bab refers to a meal as well as cooked rice. We have an idiom similar to the English whether somebody succeeds or fails, and whether somebody sinks or swims. It's 죽이 되든 밥이 되든, 죽이 되든 밥이 되든, meaning whether it's getting porridge or rice. Also, there is an idiom that means come to nothing. It's 죽도 밥도 아니다. 죽도 밥도 아니다. Meaning, it's neither porridge nor rice. Like English expression, I am swamped. There are some idioms the meaning very busy in Korean. Among them, there is 밥 먹을 시간도 없어. 밥 먹을 시간도 없어. I don't even have time to eat. And also there is 밥맛 없다, 밥맛 없다. 맛 means taste, so it literally means I have no taste, and actually means I have no appetite. Shall we talk a little more about 맛? Third, 맛, taste. 맛 is well reflected in the expression 살 맛, taste of life, and 죽을 맛. Taste of death. For example, 월급이 오르니 
정말 살맛나요. 월급이 오르니 정말 살맛나요. I really enjoy the pleasure of living with my salary going up. 사업이 안 돼서 죽을 맛이에요. 사업이 안 돼서 죽을 맛이에요. I feel like to die because my business isn't working. That is, life comes when we get our taste, and that comes when we lose our taste. According to Freud, humans have a life and death instinct. And also, life and death is an important topic of philosophy. Surprisingly, life and death, 삶과 죽음, has been expressed through taste in Korea. Aren't you curious about the evolution of taste? Fourth, mud, stylishness. Mud has evolved into mud. Mud means stylishness and being fashionable and charm. Take a look at the letters. Only the direction of the vowel A has changed into A and something magical happened. Mud came from mud. That is, a taste changes into sight. Like this, Bob became the basis of aesthetics as well as a philosophy. Fifth, Bob 먹었어? Have you eaten? Of course, you don't remember, but let's think about when you were a baby. When the baby stops sucking, the mother pats her to comfort. Then the baby feels safe and starts eating again. The empathy and communication between the baby and the mother begins through the act of eating, which is the most basic instinct. This is a jip bap. Jip is home and pap is meal. When we are tired and lonely, we say jip bap mokko shipta. Jip bap mokko shipta. I want to eat home cooked meal. So, jipap means mother's love, like milk for a baby. A scholar who studied the theory of happiness said, the most great happiness for humans is to eat delicious food with the person they love. So, the act of eating a meal is the most basic human instinct that brings happiness and feeling love. The greeting, 밥 먹었어? 밥 먹었어? goes beyond the simply I'm worried about your starving and conveys the philosophy of life and death. 여러분, 밥 먹었어요? 